Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gunnar and I am a junior HD trainee in Eindhoven University of Technology in the Netherlands. This is where we talk about educational, professional and personal development. Today I will talk about technical interview of HD program in software technology. This is fifth video of HD guide. The video will cover technical questions and tips to prepare for the interview. Actually, this is the first video that I am filming about the program. It would be about a video interview and recommendation letter. But recent days, I got uh, several messages from my uh, subscribers and followers. They said they were very close to the technical interview and they need tips. So I decided to do the technical interview first. Yesterday, I asked almost all my uh, colleagues which kind of questions they were asked uh, during the interview. I am very thankful to them for their effort to provide me with the questions because even I forgot my questions. They gave me a lot of uh, information about the questions and their uh, technical interview. So all these questions which I will share with you uh, are from uh, interviews of 15 trainees. First of all, you have to know that uh, the technical interview will be done by a software technology program manager. She is one who reads all your uh, application documents. It means that she knows everything about your uh, documents, your knowledge, your uh, experience and questions can come from everywhere. So don't limit yourself uh, with the information that I will give you. Uh, the questions of first training. I was asked both UML and coding questions. The first coding question was about matrix transpose problem. After I completed it, she asked me to solve a sorting problem with quick and merge sort algorithms. Also, there was a question on UML, but I cannot recall like that. Second training. The interviewer asked me very basic array of strings. I don't remember exactly, but it was about solving a string problem. It was very simple, maybe simple for him, we don't know. Then she asked me about a design pattern, I forgot which one was, but it was about storage global general unique identification method. Third training. That is a long time ago, I think I had to write some basic code problem. This guy is really smart, so I don't believe him. Maybe it was simple, but he's so smart. Uh, difficult questions can seem uh, to him easy. Who knows? Uh, and she asked me about uh, design patterns and probably something about what I hoped to learn in the NGD program. Yes, expectations. Uh, be ready to this kind of questions. The interviewer can ask this kind of uh, questions uh, even in technical interview. Be ready for them. Um, be ready the question, what do you expect uh, to learn from the program? For Srini, she asked me to write a code to uh, reverse a string in any language of my choice. I tried on Java, but I didn't compile it. She said it was fine. She also showed some very abstract diagram and asked to describe it. I really was confused. She asked to name a couple of my strong and weak personal qualities. Uh, this is all I remember. Actually, Extrini told me that I would have to speak primarily about my graduation thesis. But on interview, she told that the thesis was fine and she didn't have any questions. It means that she can ask uh, the questions about your thesis. But actually, um, I was not asked about my thesis either. Uh, fifth training. I was asked some HR questions and some technical ones. Technical ones that I remember were some code snips, uh, merging two lists or a specific type of search in a list in Python to evaluate my knowledge over algorithms. Then she asked some UML questions, analyzing a UML diagram and finding the design patterns used in there. Also, she asked me some algorithms in graph theory. I remember only the extra. Learn how to implement Dextra. Training number six. She asked me Dextra algorithm. 
object-oriented programming, UML, and finding the number of specific words in a sentence. And she asked me to design a social network with best data structure. She showed me a UML diagram and asked me what is this system doing and what design patterns has. Number seven, I was asked something about sorting algorithms and something about graph algorithms like Dijkstra. We saw Dijkstra algorithm sort times so far, so learn it. Learn it. Number eight, yeah, this is very long. He provided me a lot of questions. We talked briefly about some of the subjects I followed during bachelor and master. I was asked a lot of personal questions like what are my strengths and weaknesses? Why did I go for HD not to work or PhD? Where do I expect to see myself in several years? For technical challenges I had, could a function that can replace every space in a string by a 20% without using a native replace function or something like that. For this, she just asked me, does this work in C sharp? Code a function that, given a matrix containing zeros and ones, as soon as there is one zero in a row, it should replace every zero in that row. Here she asked me what any potential problems with my implementation could be. None of these codes I actually had to run. I was shown a UML class diagram for which I was asked what kind of systems it might show and if I recognized any design patterns in there. After I answered this, she skipped a second UML diagram that she had prepared. Nine trainee. I think I had only a few questions about solving problem. It was related to algorithms and data structures. But I think he also had questions related to UML or design patterns because almost everybody was asked about UMLs and design patterns. Maybe he just doesn't remember. Nice trainee. I don't remember, but I was asked to write some script of code. Then she asked me to explain the code I had in my video. We will talk about the videos uh, in the next video. Then we talked about some projects I have done that were in my video. 11 trainee. I remember she asked me to code something about matrix, but I don't remember the uh, question exactly. Maybe, maybe the same question like matrix transpose. And she asked me to describe a software based on its class diagram. Then she asked me uh, which design patterns was used there. Number 12. Uh, well, as far as I could remember, there was something related to string where you have to change certain character and one question was related to UML case diagram. Training number 13. For live coding, I think I had to code a function in the language of my choice uh, that takes a string and that returns if the characters were unique or not. Then I had some code in Java or C++, I don't remember exactly, and I had to think about ways to improve it. It was hard because she does not tell you what it does, so you need to understand it first before speaking. I also had a class diagram or similar, and she expected me to find a design pattern. 14 Strini, I was asked three questions. The first question was something with string. Write a code to take a string with user and replace all spaces between uh, with percent symbol. The second question was you want to create a social uh, application. How do you create your data structure? Elaborate on how you think and uh, what decisions you would take, what kind of data model you create, and etc. I was free to choose the programming language to answer the question during the interview. The third question, a UML diagram was given. Uh, the question was what it was about and what kind of information it had. Explain a bit. What kind of design patterns did it have? 
He said uh, the questions are related to the CV mostly. If you write you are familiar with uh, UML or design patterns, they are highly probable to be asked during the interview. 15th training, the last one. I was asked to solve a problem related to strings. While I was solving, she was making it more difficult. Then she showed a UML diagram and asked me to find what was the system and find design patterns there. Yes, that was the last question. Here you can see you have to be uh, ready uh, to problem solving questions related to algorithms, especially sorting and um, graph algorithms. You can practice them uh, on HackerRank or LitCode. They are completely free. Learn UML, you can find uh, a quick tutorial about it on the internet. Find uh, examples and try to understand uh, uh, the diagrams and try to find out uh, which uh, system uh, is designed in the example uh, try to apply it and try to create a system with UML on yourself learn about design patterns uh, I can share an online course from Coursera I also follow the same course uh, it is from uh, University of Alberta it is really good so be ready, uh, system design uh, questions, also questions related to your CV, the projects you worked on and your thesis. I will share all useful uh, links in the description for you. I hope the video was useful for you. If you like the content, you can put like to the video and you can leave dot, comma, smiley or comment below so that the YouTube algorithm can recognize you and show you more such videos. You can also subscribe to my channel if you want to watch uh, the videos I share on uh, YouTube regularly. Take care until I see you in the next video. Bye bye.